So this is the SAR lab? Yeah. Can you tell them what SAR is? SAR is Specific Absorption Rate. Mm. And what does that test for? This lab is used to test the amount of radiation absorbed by human body in per unit time mass. Mm. And there's two different ways that we do that, right? uh, Yeah, it consists of two parts. The first part is CSAR's 3D test system. The other one is DASY test system. Let me show you the first one. Perfect. So this is the CSAR 3D section. Yeah. Can you explain what our two little yellow friends are about? Okay, CSAR 3D test system is made up of two head model and one body model. Mm. Guess what is black box for? If I'm gonna guess, it simulates human body composition. Yes, you're correct. This box <laughs> contains human body tissue simulating liquid and mm. hundreds of sensors. Mm. So when this test starts, we will put the phone on the model and use the black bracket to hold it. Mm. And then the sensors will pick up the radiation spots and then transfer the information to the computer. And this data will be analyzed by software. Cool. Do you remember the second one? Uh, so the second one is right over there. Yes. Let's go take a look. Okay. So that was CSAC 3D. Can you explain a little bit about what each of these are? This is DASY test system. Mm. It's made up of six axis mechanical manipulator probe, human body tissue simulating liquid, and a film holder under the liquid. Mm, what makes this different from the 3D SAR testing? As I mentioned before, there are hundreds of sensors, so it can scan and pick up the radiation spots very quickly and comprehensively. But compared with that, there is one prop. It scans very slowly, but we can get the very um, accurate and more detailed information from it. So this is more fine-tuned. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what uh, standards this appears to? Okay, there are several standards of this test, mm. uh, including CE and FCC. <laughs> CE is 2 watts per kilogram. FCC is 1.6 watt per kilogram. And our external standard is more strict than international standard. That's good, so we're all safe from a SAR perspective. Okay, let's move on to the next test. Okay, let's go.